Hey, Pinky, come here. Yeah? Don't you know how to take get lost for an answer? Dash doesn't need to hang with a dweeb like you now that I'm around. You're dorking up the sky, stinky pie. So make like a bee. Buzz off! So, when you auditioned for Gilda, what was that like? Um, it was, they were pretty, it was fun. I mean, I like doing auditions, they make me nervous, but, mm. uh, that's okay, that's all part of the job. Um, we were, they were pretty specific about, you know, they really wanted a bit of a lion kind of growl in the voice, which I like. Um, and, you know, they were just generally very positive. You know, really nice and very, you know, they're clear about the direction and the things that they wanted, so that was, it was a nice audition. You, you, you are such a, a flip-flop! Cool one minute and lame the next. When you decide not to be lame anymore, give me a call. So, I know we can't confirm much for season four, but um, are you going to be voicing anyone here? I have no idea. Oh, that's an honest answer. No clue. Um, at this point, I have, yeah, no idea. Well, from the sessions that you have done, um, is there anyone from that... From My Little Pony? Or sessions? any in like, particular. Was there any um, person that you really like working off of when it comes to voice acting? Or anyone who might be an inspiration to the craft? Um, yeah. Tabitha St. Germain is a huge inspiration I, for me. I just think she's amazing. Um, so creative and so flexible in everything that she does. She's amazing. I love working with her. Um, people I work with actually quite frequently. Um, I play, Ashley Ball and I play twins on Giant Test. We just finished season six of that. Yeah. Um, she plays Mary and I play Susan. Um, and I work actually on that show, in, it's funny because it happens to be that show that I'm talking about, but I work with Kathleen Barr and Ian Corlett quite a lot, and I really like those guys. I, I, we have a great community in Vancouver of voiceover actors, and I, you know, I like working with all of them. But those people that seem to be people that I work with frequently, um, and who also make me laugh a lot. Are there um, any projects coming up that you're looking forward to or any that you would love to be cast for? Um, I don't know if there's any auditions coming up for me, but um, actually there is something I auditioned for the other day, again, I can't talk about it, that would be really cool if I got that. Uh, as I said, we just finished season six of Johnny Test, um, so that will not be out for probably a couple of months, I would think. Um, I'm working on a project that's very, it's been really enjoyable. My character is very bratty. Um, that I can't talk about, unfortunately. Um, I did a several episodes of The Little Prince, um, so you can check that out. I don't know what channel it's on. Um, and what else? Yeah, it's really annoying for you guys to hear. I can't talk about it. That's <laughs> okay. But there are it's two okay. other things that I'm just one just finished and one that I'm about to finish on Tuesday that I can't mention. That's okay. We know you. Uh, we have uh, you have your limits. We do. Yeah, we all do. So can we expect to see you at um further conventions? This is your yeah. first. So have you been enjoying it? It's been fun. I've been really enjoying it. Um, my I am going to be at Cutie Mark in Cincinnati in I think it's April. I will be at. Fiesta Equestria in Houston, Texas in June. I, I'm so stupid with dates. I only know my own birthday. Um, and that's, uh, that is, yeah, it's in the summer. So those are the next two that I'm going to be going to, and I'm looking forward to them. It should be awesome. Mike, do you have any questions? What, uh, what uh, else do you plan on doing in the future for your career? Um... Like any specific um, goal? Any? No, I don't really. I, I mean, my goal is always to be just working. I know that sounds really sort of like, <laughs> duh. Um, but it, it really is a privilege to make your living. At least I feel it is to make my living as an actor. Um, and so kind of that's my goal. I don't want to retire. Mm -hmm. I'd like to, one of the things that I do know I'm going to have to face is is getting older and perhaps my voice changing slightly um, but it may open up a whole realm it should open up a whole realm of characters that I don't currently play cannot currently play um, so that's kind of a goal of mine to be able to go with what evolves and make use of it well you're only like 26 27 so I think that's like quite a ways off. but you know women I mean women um, 
Sometimes women can sound the same until they're like 55 and then bang sometimes. It's kind of like, uh, you know, boys, when, you know, when your voice is bro broke, when you're however old, 13 or whatever it is, whenever that happens, you know, that's, um, can be a big, big transition. If you use your voice to uh, work, then that's even more crazy. Anyway, yeah, so they, it's something I think about. It's something I think about. And I look forward to some of those roles, like being able to play like the older lady or the mom or something like that. And then what positive, uh, what are the positives and negatives that you've been experiencing? Positives is meeting people and being able to like give back something. Because, you know, it's because of me that people, it's because of, sorry, it's because of other people, watch people watching that we're able to do what we love for work, you know? There was no audience member, whether you're in the theater or you're at the movies, there's nobody sitting in the audience. Nobody in front of their TV screens, then, you know, I said to, in another interview just a little while ago, like, I'm sure, yeah, I could act at home in my living room, but, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's nice to be able to say thank you to people who watch what we do and support our work and our careers. Awesome. So since you have to get going to another panel, is there anything you'd like to tell your fans or the My Little Pony public in general? Um, well, you know, thank you that, uh, for the things that I said just a few minutes ago. Um, and I hope, you know, some of you are really gung-ho to have Gilda back, and I hope that Absolutely. that's what happens. So, um, go Gilda. <laughs> Maybe she'll be nice next time. I don't think she should be too nice, though, because that's going to ruin everything. Yeah. Just, Do you know what I mean? Just reform like Discord, but with the spark. Yeah, maybe. I mean, who knows what she could turn into. So, um, yeah. Uh, thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah.